In this section, we're going to use the spin tool. So what I'm going to do is let's go back into edit mode by pressing tab. I'm going to press five to go into orthographic mode. I'm going to press one to go into front view. And now this is the important bit. Wherever I left click, that'll be the rotation point. So I'm going to select this face. Whoops, I'm going to just press Z to go into wireframe. Select the top face and go back into solid mode by pressing Z. I can click over here on the left, spin. And as you can see, now it's done a spin of 90 degrees and there's nine steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can obviously increase the number of steps. Oh, that's a bit ridiculous. And we can also increase how far it goes. So we can just type in 180 and it does a full circle. So I'm gonna do control Z and we'll go back to the start. Now this is the important bit is it'll rotate on what ever face we are on. So by that I mean, if I now change the angle and now I press the spin tool, it has rotated this, uh, the center along around this point. So now we can kind of see it's done some funky, but cool thing. So it always remember control Z is whatever face we're looking at. So if I'm on this face here and I do spin, you can see that it spins on the center through there.